It's Ron! Tchaikovsky. From Sandy Shores. Look, I've got an opportunity. Now, don't hang up. Seriously. No, this is interesting. What says interesting opportunity like endless blue skies? Huh? Now, if you buy a hangar on Maze Bank foreclosures, we can build an air freight business together. That's right. Finally, we can earn some air miles that are worth something. Ha! So here I am, stealing fully upgraded Sand Kings to store for sale at a later date. As a matter of fact, this might be some pretty early video for when I first started doing that. I don't even think my Sand King, my initial Sand King, is painted yet. It's not the, uh, it's not the one painted in Luigi colors. It's just got the stock black from where I ripped it off. If you need to make money and you want to do it in a solo session, or probably this one is a, a closed crew session, uh, you have a little bit more flexibility from a solo session. If I wanted to do a contact mission, I could do it. So I usually go into a, a closed crew session. But it's something that's nice. You can you get a bunch of these. They're about seventeen thousand dollars a piece. Some of them are eighteen. But let's you know, just being you know conservative here. You're looking at one hundred and seventy some odd thousand dollars per garage full. And yes, it takes a while to unload them all because you can only unload one per game day, which is like what forty two minutes, forty eight minutes, something like that. But then while you're doing racing or something like that, you sell one when you get on. You sell one when you decide to, before you log off. And you're, you can use it to supplement your income while you're doing things. Is it a grind? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah it's definitely a grindy way to play. But if you want money in this game, a lot of the stuff you have to do is a grind. I mean, you're, you know, if you want to, to make consistent money, you have to be doing something in a solo session or in a crew session or something like that where... You know, modders aren't going to just blow you up, or someone's not going to show up in a hydra and interrupt what you're doing. You know, and you're not going to lose money because, you know, you invested in some sort of product that you have to sell, and now it's been blown to smithereens. So, stuff like racing, where if you can, if you can get, if you get to racing anymore, uh, I've been having tough luck getting to do transform races lately, just to get enough people online. It's catching them. I mean, it's just even that's double money right now. It's hard to get. Sometimes you get four or five people, and you eventually luck into wherever everybody's gathered, whatever track they happen to actually like. If you run them out for four minutes, I think it's five thousand dollars. Run for eight, it's eight thousand dollars. The actual rate of return is better if you do more races at four minutes. But you know, depending on what you're doing, you know, if you're working the bills or something like that, doing something on the side and just grinding races just to get money. Um, you know, the 8,000 routes for just fine, doing the 8-minute races. But if you're doing that, are you really playing the game? No, no, you're just trying to grind stuff so that you can get money so you can play the game, which is kind of a problem in GTA right now. The average player cannot access all the game modes. I mean, you've got to buy a bunker, and you've got to buy an MOC, and then you've got to buy you know, a biker house, or, or you've got to buy offices, you've got to buy... You know, a hanger now, and they're all multi-million dollar purchases. And the hanger's no good without a plane. The bunker's no good without an MOC. And the normal way you get around this is by having activities that you can do that make a lot of money. And those exist, but they are locked to public sessions where people with, you know, now hunter helicopters. I can't wait to try that. I can't wait to try a lobby out full of hunters. Um, people in hunters and oppressors and ruiners. You notice the the name the vigilantes. You notice the names on these. They're kind of just geared towards going after those people. You try to make money in this game and you are punished for it. The game is set up so that everybody else on the server, if they want to make easy money, can just come and get you. Which is great if you're the kind of person that really wants to ruin other people's nights. I don't really want to be that person. I don't want to be that player. I don't want to go and mess with somebody who's just trying to save up for some bobble that they saw on the Warstock Cash and Carry site. I mean, it's just not my way of playing. I don't want to be the guy that's technically working for Rockstar, making sure that people don't make money so they have to buy shark cards. Now, let me suggest this. How nicely would the economy be rebalanced in this game 
where all these airplanes and all these tanks would seem reasonable if you could do missions like the import export missions or the gun running missions or all the hangar missions the smugglers run missions if you could do those in solo sessions or crew sessions something we were actually just able to do the mission as it was designed without having any kind of interference from other players. There used to be ways of doing this. There used to be tricks you could do to get yourself a solo lobby for at least a little while. A solo public lobby so that you could at least do these missions and then you could make decent amounts of money and everything seems somewhat achievable. And it seems like ever since Rockstar blocked that ever since they they edited the code so you couldn't do that anymore That's when everything has seemed far too expensive now grant you they threw another million dollars on the price of everything right after the time They did that which makes everyone feel that it's intentional it is, They really want you to have to buy shark cards. I mean, I'm not I'm not gonna spend $80 to get a virtual car Okay, I'm just not I'm not going to do that. It's just, it's not, it's not what's reasonable. And I was tempted over Black Friday because they said, oh, well, you could get 40% more cash from your shark card. And I, gee, that almost makes, makes it reasonable, you know, for at least you get enough cash for your money. But in the end result, I said, no, I'm not doing this. I, I'd rather, I have other things I need to spend my money on. I'm not doing this. I'm not going to buy virtual stuff for a game that's on the downslide. Let's be honest. What's going to happen when you've spent all this money on chart cards and then you turn off the servers because there's not enough people playing it? There's nothing that says they have to keep these servers on in perpetuity because you spent money on a virtual car. When that you know, server goes down, that car is going poof. Hope you have pictures. But the way things are now, I mean, you see my videos. You know when I go out to play, you know, CEO in pajamas here. I'm not going out with the expectation that it's going to go well. I'm fully expected to be griefed, and I hope that it's funny enough that you'll keep watching the videos. But I don't expect to make money on it. I expect to lose. When something goes wrong, I'm the first to admit it, and the last one to know. When something goes right, it's likely to lose me. It's apt to confuse me, because it's such an unusual sight. Whoa. <coughs> I really shouldn't do Paul Simon with a cold. No, I really... Not that I'm impersonating Paul Simon with a cold. I have a cold, and I'm trying to do Paul Simon. Let's, let's move on to the next thing. The point is, the last few updates have been Rockstar saying, Hey, here's something really cool you can do. And here's several tools for people to screw with you while you do it, so that you can't do it. But if you still want the really cool thing, you could just give us your hard-earned money and we'll take it. And we'll keep giving you cool things. And I'm, like I said before, I, understand, I have no problems with the concept of monetization, continual monetization of the game. But at this point, I mean, all right, you want to you know, make me pay five bucks for an airplane. That's, that's reasonable, but not 50. Not 50 bucks or, you know, get multiple cards because that won't cover the paint job. No, no, this is ridiculous. I'm at the point in the game where really the only times I play Grand Theft Auto are to either A, make a video, or B, make money so I could get something that I want to use to make a video. That makes it work. That means that it makes it work, like it's not working. I mean, it's making it, it's a job, is what I'm trying to say. It's not making it work. It's, it's, this is now a job where, to be perfectly honest, I'm not getting compensated very well, because have you seen the hit counts on my last uh, several videos? No, not, this isn't, I'm not getting anything out of this. This is, you know, it's just work at this point. To the extent that I enjoy making videos is the only, re you know, the only thing that's keeping this going. And I do enjoy making these videos, but, you know, looking at where the game is at, um, you know, I'm starting to think I need a new game. I mean, the environment is great for making videos. Don't get me wrong. It's really wonderful. But I don't know how much interest is still left in this game. Comment in the description if you're still interested in seeing these videos. Because I honestly don't know anymore. I don't know if I should, you know, start looking at something else. There's, there's always the, the, uh, the possibility of going to something like Star Citizen or something like along those lines. I mean, Fallout 4, yeah, I have potential for Fallout 4, but Fallout 4 is getting to be an old game at this point. 
And I mean, you know, after the last few Fallout videos, I've been going through and making sure all my my settlements are, are producing enough food and enough water so that I can leave them and go off and do other missions and stuff like that. And it suddenly occurred to me, oh my goodness, I'm playing Farmville. This is fun. You even have the plot, little square plots of land with the little food on them. And I'm setting everything. I'm set, assigning set. I'm playing Farmville with, you know, post-apocalyptic Farmville with shotguns. It's just, that's what Fallout has become for me. So I, I'm starting to think I need to do something else. And it's not just me feeling like this. I've been watching some video. I've always, you guys know I'm a huge uh, Bruffy1322 fanboy. And uh, the last couple videos he's put out from the the, uh, the Choking Hazard podcast and this last video when they released the laser, the laser is just hilarious. Can we talk about the laser? Six and a half million for a plane you can steal that will be identical to the plane you can steal, except now you don't have to steal it. And you can paint it, and that's it. You can't give it extra afterburners or bigger guns or lasers. It's a, it's a, it's called a laser, but it doesn't have a laser. If it was six and a half million, then you could put laser cannons on it. All right, well then that would be something. But this is just the one you can grab from Fort Zancudo. They reference the good old days when you could just steal one from Fort Zancudo, and they reference you getting killed getting it. Oh, but this is so much better. Six and a half million dollars. And a hundred dollar shark card gives you what eight? So you've got you you need to get a hundred dollar shark card to buy this thing. You'll have some left over, but not much. From somewhere on the other side of the veil, PT Barnum is looking at all this, going, "My goodness, what I could have done here." Cause there's a sucker born every minute. Okay, yeah, don't I shouldn't do show tunes with a cold either. No. But, you know, watching these videos, listening to guys like Bruffy and, <clears throat> excuse me, a darn cold, like Bruffy and RTD33, Sugar Free NOS, GTA Man, and they're all talking like, it's pretty much over. They're, they're done with the game. And these are guys who are heavily emotionally and, and physically invested in the game. Uh, they've, they've put money into it. They've put hundreds of hours, if not thousands of hours into this game. And they're saying, hey, look, you know, the writing's on the wall. This is, you know, a done deal coming up here. And, you know, vacation. Bruffy's last post, and I'll try to put links to the, 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 the two videos I'm referring to here in the, in the description. His last video, I, I, it's, it was a man betrayed, I'm telling you. This is someone who's invested a lot in a relationship with a game developer, with, the, you know, with Rockstar, with this game, he's put hours and hours of, of his life into sharing information about the game to help other people play the game. And now he's just fed up. He's just had it. It's, it's no longer what he wanted it to be. And, you know, I, I felt bad for him. I really did. This is he's, He sounds like he's in a lot of pain. And it's there's always something else to move on to. And there's always that point where you have to move on to the next game. Sometimes just changing servers is traumatic. I remember when the, the Get On It servers, the Aussie Freelancer servers for Freelancer went down. And the, the night they went down, you know, me and uh, me and Mr. Bonkers and a couple others, I think, I think um, Rambler was there. We just stayed on until they turned the power off. We literally just left our ships on for hours and we were going to be the last person there. We, it was, when it went down, we were going to be logged in and that was the end of that story. And, you know, we found another server, and I still play on that server. I think we should go back to Freelance. That would really probably be a good plan. Depending on how, you know, stuff works out. That's another thought. Okay, free, probably Freelancer and, and Star Citizen, even though they're made by the same guy, I don't think they're going to scratch the same itch. I think they're going to be two different things, but we have to discover that. But I'm listening to, to Bruffy, and this is something where he's invested an awful lot into... Grand Theft Auto 5 online and now he's finding it unplayable and and he's just had it with the you know the way things are going that's not a good sign that's not a good sign for the, the the lifespan of the game so it makes you want to invest less in it now I mean there is the hope all right now follow me here this is this is what we're going to call the meek will inherit the earth kind of approach to this if eventually enough people get disgusted and leave the game. It'll probably happen, it's just about the same time Red Dead Redemption 2 comes out. If they all go over there, and the population on the servers drops out radically, 
but not completely. Maybe then all the trolls will go over to Red Dead Redemption because they're bored trolling the people in GTA. And maybe then some of these game modes will be playable. Maybe you'll be able to actually enjoy some of this content with somebody blowing you up. Is that what we have to hope for? We have to hope for the game to die so we can play it? That's that's fairly bizarre. I'm, I'm going to say that. That's I said it, and I think it's fairly bizarre. It's, it's a bizarre thing to hope for. Don't get me wrong. This isn't my farewell to GTA moment here. I'm still going to be playing the game. I've still got to at least try one CEO in pajamas with a sky full of hunters. We, we got to try that just to, for the sheer comedy of it all. Still gonna play Fallout 4. Still gonna play TF2. It's gonna it's gonna happen somewhere down the road. And as you know, it's my policy. If I do anything even halfway interesting, I share it with you. Sometimes if it's only a quarter way interesting, I mean, you know, that's I, I'm not proud. But if things slow down for a little bit, I don't want you to abandon the channel. I mean, I'm not abandoning the channel by any stretch of the imagination here. I might take a little bit of a break just to get my bearings and figure out where I want to go next with this. I may not. I mean, you know, this is kind of my normal routine is doing this kind of stuff. But if I do, if I can, you know, get away from this for a little while, maybe get back to doing some writing, you know, doing some living at a n more normal pace would be nice. You know, just come home instead of trying to crank out a video, you know, watch some television. I mean, do some normal things here. And then when the creativity is, is bubbling at the highest point, then, you know, produce a video and try and make sure that it's something that you guys want to watch. That having been said, there's been more than one time I've said, listen, I'm going to take it, slow things down for a little bit, and then something happens, and I'm re-engaged, and I'm reinvigorated, and I want to try this, and I want to try that, and then a whole bunch of videos come out. So, maybe that'll happen, too. In the meantime, comment in the description below if you think there's a, a better path forward that I haven't seen yet. Should I be try, trying to sneak onto one of Sugar Free NOS's modded server setups and, you know, try and find interesting things in GTA that way? Um, you know, is there, is there some other game? Is there some other path here? Something else that we should be doing? I can't guarantee. Oh, well, I, I suggested that you do nothing but Worms Reloaded. Well, then, you know, I may or may not do that. You know, that's a good game, too. Maybe you could do some Worms Reloaded. And try that out. Maybe try and get myself a, you know, a functioning PS2 and somehow wire that into the computer so we can record off that and do old-style games. I don't know what I'm going to do. But uh, there'll, be, there'll be something down the road. We'll figure something out. I got a whole huge back catalog in Steam. I don't know which way we're going, gang, but we're going to go somewhere. We're going to go somewhere. And on that note, this is the Black Knight. Uh, have a great night, and you can enjoy the rest of whatever is left of me stealing Sand Kings. I'm going to leave the whole video in there just for posterity. I guess it's posterity at the posterior of the video or something like that. Post something. Isn't this whole video just a case of post something? Eh, I guess. <laughs> this is the Black Knight. Have a great night.
need something, huh? One of your rides? Let me know. It's coming at you.
for the magic touch.
you know, I can't say too much because they're listening. But there's more to those hangers on Maze Bank foreclosures than you might realize. You buy one, you buy me. Well, I mean, you buy a partnership with me. We'll go in together on the air freight business. Now, how's that sound, huh? Hello? Hello? You there? Oh, God damn it! I hate cold calling. What can the best mechanic in LS do for you? I can't say too much because they're listening. But there's more to those hangers on Maze Bank foreclosures than you might realize. You buy one, you buy me. Well, I mean, you buy a partnership with me. We'll go in together on the air freight business. Now, how's that sound, huh? Hello? Hello? You there? Oh, God damn it! I hate cold calling. <laughs> 